activity features. The second row seats adjust 9 inches fore and aft, there's ample cargo space in 5 passenger models, and controls are readily identifiable no mysteries, no tedious rummaging through the owner's manual. Also, the center stack includes actual knobs for tuning the radio and making HVAC adjustments. Thank you, Nissan. The suspension tuning is relaxed, and ride quality is supple. EPA fuel economy estimates are competitive with class favorites like the Mazda CX-5, the Honda CRV, and the Toyota RAV4. What we don't like, Nissan has advanced the concept of the CVT, but at wide open throttle this one is still occasionally reminiscent of a slipping clutch. The pace that goes with this is languid, at just under 9 seconds to 60 mph. The downside of creamy ride quality is lots of body motion when the driver attacks a set of corners, exacerbated by electric power steering that's nicely weighted but nevertheless vague. Oddly enough, once the suspension settles after turning into a corner, the rogue can be flogged with confidence. That may be its dynamic forte, but few if any owners are likely to experience it. Then there's that third row seat. If you find yourself relegated to a rogue's third row, it's time to call Uber. Verdict, competent and quiet, but not all rogues inspire passion.